Alright guys, welcome back to the SpyQt5 video series and today we are going to be learning how to add an image to your window and also how to change a image whenever a button is clicked. So first of all, we are going to be starting with a simple main window and inside that we are going to add an image. So how do you add an image inside PyQt5? It's actually a little bit very very unique. So first of all, you need to add a label over here and this label will act as a container for our image. So we are just going to expand it a little bit just for the size of our image. Let's uh, make it this size and let's center it a little bit over here. And then what you can do is you can scroll down a little bit. First of all, let's change the object name because this is an image. So let's just call it image over here. And then if we scroll down at the bottom over here, you can see that there is this thing called pix map. And this is where conversion from label to image happens. So what we can do, we can click over here and then this down arrow, we can click on that. Click on choose file and then click on uh, the image that we want. So I have two images over here. You can get uh, the same size image from Google images or wherever you want. So I'm just going to choose this option of cat and you can see this image of uh, cute cat has been imported. Now if we decrease the size of this thing, you can see that it is being cropped over here, which we don't want. So if you don't want it to be cropped and you want it to be scaled properly, you can go down and you can see this option in property editor, the scaled contents. Just make sure that you check mark it and after that you can see that it's scaled properly. So we are just going to increase the size again and then to change the image whenever a button is clicked. So for example, if we want to change the image from cat to dog, we also need to add a button. So we are going to go up and add a push underscore button over here. And let's add two buttons, one for the cat, one for the dog. So let's add another button over here and let's increase the size a little bit. So let's make it, let's make it somewhat like this. And uh, we can also do the same thing with this one. And to make sure that both of them are of the same size, what you can also do is if you scroll up in your property editor, you can see that if you double click over here, you can see that the X position is 150, the Y position is 500. So the Y should be equal of this button also so what you can do over here in the Y you can also put in as 560 so let's go over here and we are gonna make it 560 press enter and it's going gone down below let's see why if we go back to this button you can see that the Y is 500 actually not um, 560 so what you can do again is that go back over here and let's just change it to 500 and uh, yeah they both should be equally aligned so let's uh, make sure that our window still looks good and then what we can do is we can just make them make sure that they look good and you can also check the size of this thing so you can see that the width is 171 and the height is 41 and if we click on this button you can see that the width is a little bit different so let's also change the width of this one to 171 and uh, yeah so they both should look pretty much the same so now let's change this to a cat and let's change this to a dog and let's also increase the font a little bit of this cat and dog just to make sure that it looks a little bit better. So we're just going to scroll down and go over here and uh, we can increase the size to something like maybe 14 and cat and we are going to do the same thing with our dog and let's increase the size to 14 just to make sure it looks good. And you can also change the object name of these things because these will be referenced inside our code. So let's change the first uh, button to cat underscore button and we can do the same thing with a dog let's change this to dog underscore button and uh, yeah so we have changed the object name this is looking pretty good we have our image over here and now let's just uh, save this and um, save it inside whatever, whatever folder you want i'm just going to save it over here and now we can uh, go back to our uh, code over here we, where we have untitled.ui and we've already discussed how to convert this to a python file just type in command prompt and over here we are just going to write py uic5 and first the input file that is the minus x and that is untitled and whenever you want to fulfill so let's say you want you know the first two letters and then you can just press the tab button and it will automatically fill it out and then you also need the output file. So I'm just going to call the output file as main.py file and press enter. So main.py has been created. So now I can go back to my editor and we have our main.py file. And if we scroll up a little bit, you can see that there is this line self.image.setpixmap. And over here, the name of our image is there. Make sure both of the images are over here of the cat and the dog. 
And now what we can do is to toggle the images. First of all, let's actually see whether it runs or not. So if you run this, you can see the cute image of the cat, but the buttons currently don't work. So let's create a couple of methods. Let's scroll down. And the first method is going to be to show our cat. So I'm just going to call it show underscore cat. And it's going to take an argument of itself. And whenever we want to show the cat, we are just going to copy and paste this over here. This uh, line where we import our cat image. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it inside our show underscore cat. And basically we are also going to do the same thing for our dog, but just we'll change the name um, to a different one. So let's paste this over here and instead of show cat, we are going to change it to show dog. We will also need to change the name of the image of our dog. So we are going to change it from cat to a dog. And that's pretty much it. Now we need to connect our buttons to these methods. So what I'm going to do is we also we already know how to connect them. Um, so I'm just going to write self and our cat button is known as cat underscore button dot clicked. So whenever this is clicked, we wanted to connect it to a method and that method is self dot show underscore cat. And we are going to be doing the same thing for our dog. So I'm just going to copy and paste this over here. And this is a dog button. So let's try dog over here. And this is show underscore dog. And that's pretty much it. This looks pretty good. So just to kind of recap what we have done in this video is that inside our QT designer, we have an image and to add an image, we first added a label and then we scroll down and we added a pix map and scaled contents. Then we added two buttons over here of a cat and a dog. And then what we did was whenever our uh, cat button is clicked, it goes to the show underscore cat method and it changes it to a cat image. And whenever we click on the dog button, it changes it to a dog image. And that's pretty much it. So let's run this. And now if we click on dog, it is going to change it to a dog image. And if we click on cat, it's going to change it to a cat image. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. I'll see you in the next video where we'll be working with containers. And yeah, so I'll see you over there.